Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny here, and if this is your first time watching, I show you how to make money in the stock market. If you like that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you don't miss anything. All right, so just like the title says, guys, I got another strong buy today. I found this company um, the other night, just kind of... Um, Sometimes I like playing with the search here and I'll just type in random letters and just come up and see what companies are there. And if I like what I see, then I will invest in them and do videos on them as well. Um, also, if you guys want a, uh, if you guys want me to do a video on a company that you like or that you have had your eye on, I can also do that as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. This company is showing pretty good growth over all. It had a nice intraday here today at $1.16 um, in positive growth. Now, if you're not aware of this company, they are a financial service that basically helps with uh, insurance and different financial service companies um, like life insurance, group and employee benefits, automobile, automobile and homeowners insurance, business insurance and like annuities, mutual funds and college saving plans. So they definitely deal with a lot of money every day. Um, I did show the one day here because it is a good play um, significantly for even day traders. As you can see the one year they are down about 4% um, which is $2.55 but as you can see it has a lot of volatility which a lot of day traders and swing traders like. They'll buy real low down here and then they'll sell up here and then they'll buy down here and then they'll sell up here and they'll buy down here and they'll sell up here and just basically keep doing it over and over and over and make small amounts of money whereas some investors like to hold long term and make money through their dividend payouts and their growth over time. Now with that said, Hartford Financial Services, 40% uh, of analysts are saying to buy, and only 153 people own it on Robinhood. Now, this is another company that I think people on Robinhood should know about. It is an affordable company. It's only at $51.16 right now. Um, Let's get into some of the uh, some of the statistics real quick. Um, they have 16,400 employees currently in Hartford, Connecticut. They've been around since 1810. Now, this is one of the older companies, one of the oldest companies that I have found on uh, Robinhood, which is why I like researching different companies so much because there's so many different companies out there um, with so much history and a lot of people don't know about these companies. Everyone ends up talking about Apple and Microsoft and um, Alibaba and Boeing all the time, but what about the small companies that have had long-term growth and good um, reports overall? So Moving on, market caps at almost 18 billion, so they have a lot of money to mess around with. They still have a nice low PE ratio at 25. Um, I like to shoot for them under 20, but 25 isn't bad either. I believe anything under 40 or 50 is still pretty good for the PE ratio. They are paying a dividend yield, which is great. I do love companies that pay the shareholder money back. I love that. So they're getting a dividend yield of 1.67% with an average volume which is ex actually pretty high at 2.15 million average volume. Now, they're 2% lower to buy right now than their average price of $52.20, but that's okay. That means there's an opportunity to buy because we did see in the charts there's a lot of volatility going up and down. Right now, it kind of caught this company in a little bit of a uh, dip, like a basically... Um, I want to say like a cup handle, but basically just go sh straight up and down like this. Uh, pretty much like a heartbeat. So catch it on the low beat, get it on the high beat. You know what I mean? Um, right now, 40% are saying to buy, 60% are saying to hold, and 0% are saying to sell. And that's with 20 ratings. Now that's pretty good. The earnings per share is a little bit wibbly wobbly, just kind of like its share price goes up and down. But right now it looks like they're getting a nice share of around a dollar and maybe 15 cents is what it looks like there. And that's really good. They have been exceeding their uh, estimated earnings for quite some time, um, which is a good sign that they know what they're doing and they could estimate when it's going to be lower versus higher. Um, during each earnings call. Now, 
I like doing the street rating report for everyone that follows me on here. I hope that it's helpful to you guys. You're able to see more clear picture. I like to use the Robinhood app and um, give you a nicer platform and understanding and more visual to see the company in the form that you're used to. But I also do a lot of research on different companies like the street, market watch, Zach's rating, um, I'll even do my TD Ameritrade platform that I have, uh, Thinkorswim, which is a great platform to use when you're doing technicals. Um, but statistically, guys, the street rating really gives it to you the way it is. If it's a buy, it's a buy. If it's a hold or a sell, it's going to tell you and it's going to let you know. Um, they're not biased against any of these companies, and they don't pay me to use them. So it's free to use. You just go to street.com, type in the ticker symbol, and then send them your email, and they send it to your, your email box. So that's how I get this, if anyone's wondering. Now, their target price right off the bat, guys, $57.63. Price right now is around $49.90. Now, that's not bad. Um, there's plenty of room to grow. They're basically saying they're expected to get $8 in growth here pretty soon. And it looks like it's made it before here in this little peak area, uh, right here. So they are a buy. They are, have, do have a nice dividend yield at 2%, which is a dollar per year. Um, which isn't bad. You are getting money back for your investment. Um, they have been in a buy rating history for quite some time, and then recently um, they went to a hold very briefly, and now they are back to a buy since July. But as you can see, it's been pretty much since before 2016. Some of the highlights and recommendations for Hartford Financial Services and why they're a buy is that they're exceeding the industry's average for revenue growth tremendously. Uh, same quarter from last year prior it rose 13.8 percent which is great that also helped boosted the earnings per share the net incomes also increased by what excuse me 1555 percent that's correct they went from a negative 40 million last year to now a positive earning of 582 million dollars which gives it a strong buy in my book instantly just because of that they are turning around they are making money they have extremely good earnings per share they're paying their shareholders a dividend don't even need to go on anymore on why this is a good company to get your hands on. Now, Hartford also swung a little bit of a loss, but reporting a negative 77 versus $1.52 prior than last year. But with that said, they're expected this year to have an earnings of $4.70 per share versus the negative 77 cents. So with that said, guys, it looks a little bit wishy-washy but they are making a lot of money right now. They have a low debt to equity ratio of 0.39, as well as them being able to um, watch their growth a little bit. Now, they're not up here on this chart, but as you can see, they are on the extremely high end over the 10% mark here almost. Revenue growth of 9.81% and an earnings yield of 2.42%, which gives it a nice, high uh, position against its peers and its competitors. Um, as you can see, here is a list of some of them, um, as well as their net income here, which is showing a negative net sales PE ratio and their market cap, as well as their recent price. Now, if you want me to do a video on any of their competitors, let me know in the description below and I can do that as well. Now, stock at a glance for its factor score, a little bit low right now on most of them, as you can see. Growth, 3 out of 5 stars. Total return, 2.5 out of 5 stars. Efficiency, 2.5 out of 5 stars. Price volatility, 2.5 out of 5 stars. Solvency, 3.5 out of 5 stars. And income, 4 out of 5 stars. So that is really good, too, to just kind of um, show you just more visual facts and conclusions about this company. Now, they have decreased on their net worth for stockholder equity by 27% from the same quarter last year. So I believe that 
happened because when they went to a hold rating, a lot of people got scared and sold their positions. Now they're back into a buy rating and people are going to be buying it at a little bit of a cheaper cost. But again, guys, overall, this is a good company to get involved in because they do have a nice earnings per share dividend yield that they pay out and they have some volatility so you can average down significantly and add to your position as well as selling at higher points if need be so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please smash that like button it always helps my channel and it helps me to know that you guys are liking the content i'm putting out and again if you have any videos you want me to do just put them in the description or in the comments below and i will do those videos for you all right, you guys have a great day.